Persistent attacks mean that only about a third of school-age children in Ukraine are attending classes fully in person, and many are forgetting what they have already learned. The war followed COVID disruptions, meaning some Ukrainian children were facing a fourth consecutive school year of disruptions as they returned to classes this week after the summer break. Yes, attacks on schools have continued uh, unabated throughout the war in Ukraine. Just last week, uh, teachers were amongst casualty of an attack on a civilian area in the city of Romney. The attack uh, ripped through a school where teachers were preparing lessons for the new academic year. On the same day, a kindergarten in Carson City was hit in another attack. These senseless and reckless attacks have left many of Ukrainian children deeply distressed and without a safe space to learn. They are struggling to remember how to read and write, how to do the basic maths, and, and also struggling to cope with their daily life and with the continuous fears. Up to 57% of teachers report a deterioration in student Ukrainian language ability. Up to 45% report a reduction in mathematics skills and up to 52% report a reduction of foreign language abilities. Beyond Ukraine, more than half of the children whose families have fled the conflict to seven countries are not enrolled in national education, UNICEF said, citing language barriers and overstretched education systems. Some schools have suffered direct hits, and others have closed down as a precaution in 18 months of missile and artillery attacks on residential areas across the country. Around half of Ukraine's teachers have reported a deterioration in students' abilities in language, reading and mathematics. They have also missed out on the sense of safety and friendships that school can provide to those enduring war.